It wasn't necessarily my patients uh, or my colleagues who noticed a difference first. It was my teenage daughter. And I said, do you see a difference in me? And she said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, how bad was I before? <laughs> and she said, you were a little tense, Mom. <laughs> All kidding aside, it has been a game changer for me. Anxiety was when everything speeds up. It's so fast. And I want to run as fast as I can away from this feeling to alcohol, to anything, to a f lashing out, to all sorts of unproductive behavior. And transcendental meditation helped me, it's one of many things I use, but helps you sort of unclench in that moment and slow down. I have found it to be an incredibly useful complement and an incredibly useful component to my own recovery and my own sobriety in that it gives me access to a different type of consciousness. Anyone who's an expert in the behavior and thinking of addicts will tell you it is their destructive, compulsive, obsessive thinking that leads them continually to misuse drugs and alcohol. Four years ago, I had a relapse due to just a simple surgery. Along came it, the pain meds. I knew it was a slippery slope. I did everything I could to avoid it, but I slid on my ass and wound up taking two to 300 pain pills a week. Shortly thereafter, I came out. Um, I was introduced to Bob Roth on this little spiritual journey. You, know, you keep going, you meet this one, you meet that one. In the four years, I believe it's due to TM. I've never had a drug urge. Even after the first session, I felt this incredible just sense of peace and relaxation that was completely unavailable to me elsewhere in my life. The thing about TM and the, the 20 minutes a day is that it, it allows me to replenish myself and then, and then go into the world and participate in the world in a way in which I can participate with a sense of purpose and usefulness that I have never had. There are so many things medicines don't do, plus side effects that are really problematic. So I think that we really need to understand interventions like TM and what they can do to enable people to lower dosages, ameliorate side effects, and do things like expand consciousness. And one of the things that you can do with TM is to lower your level of anxiety. It is to sort of quiet down the limbic system and actually increase the activity of your prefrontal cortex to basically inhibit these inappropriate worries and anxieties. So you can actually change the balance between these two regions in the circuit. People tend to do really well when they're engaged in treatment. Um, the problem sets in after treatment. So where I see the greatest potential of TM is in interrupting that uh, post-treatment relapse process because we know that stress and craving play such a huge and outsized role in that whole cycle. I learned TM two years ago um, and I would say that across the last 24 months, um, my brain has been completely rewired. The elimination of stress, of anxiety, of this massive internal tension is enormously beneficial when you're trying to avoid your drug of choice. <laughs>